Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. <coughs> Excuse me. It is time to go. Time to go. Time to go. All right. The goal right now is to drive 610 miles to Liberal, Kansas. Today we are blessed to have 24 hours and 33 minutes available. Temperature here now is 66 degrees. The time is 10:20 a.m. We are currently located and just leaving the pilot here in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, what else is there? We're gonna go through Kansas City this time. Oh, I did some calculations last night. It turns out that the longest way to California from Green Bay is going through Nebraska, Wyoming, Salt Lake, and down there. The shortest route is, of course, going through Denver on 70. The second shortest route is the way we're going through Liberal, Kansas, Tucumcari, Santa Rosa, and down to California. But they're only like, geez, I think, I think there's only 57 miles or 100 miles difference between going through Wyoming and going through Denver, let alone going down here to Kansas City and all this the way we're doing. But the biggest issue would be in the winter time well we all know what happens in Nebraska and Wyoming when it's winter time they they like to close their highways and the roads then they start singing slip and sliding away right right Denver even though it's the shortest route, they got a lot of hills. And of course, in the winter time, they like their avalanches and they like their blizzards too, right? The way I like Interstate 40 is, well, the weather is much cooler, I mean, much uh, forgiving, I guess. All right, which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? They're blue. Otherwise, we'll end up in Nebraska. Yeah. 
even though it's, uh, it's early October, Wyoming can get blizzards over there. So let's go down here. Oh, come on, people, let's go. And besides, the hills over here on Interstate 40, well, Des Moines, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, the hills are a little bit, a little bit forgiving, right? By the way, there seems to be a little bit of a confusion to one of you, uh, to somebody out here on YouTube who made a comment on my video. He noticed that he noticed that there's a NRA hat on my dash. No, my NRA on my dash does not save me. It is just a showing of my support for the people that pretty much protect the Constitution of the United States. And they're no way, means, or shape, form a perfect organization. But whether you believe with them or not, I do. And Andrew, you mentioned that I should put a Quran on my dash, not my hat. Now Andrew, I got a question for you. You know I'm a born again believer, born again Christian. Why would you suggest that I read the Quran? You you did know that we Christians read the Bible, not the Quran, right? And I'm, I'm not going to tell you, you know, which religion is better and which is not. That's not the point. Although the Bible does say and it speaks about that topic, but that's not my point. My point is, Andrew, I'm a Christian. I follow the Bible, not the Quran. <laughs> you seem to be a little bit confused about that matter. Unless, of course, you don't think that I should read the Bible. Maybe, are you suggesting that I abandon Christianity and practice Islam? Andrew, it ain't never gonna happen. It ain't never gonna happen, Andrew. And that's all I got to say about that. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Johnny, be good here. Andrew, shalom. Peace to you. Bye.